Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab in this one, Nathan Evaldi. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Back here at Fenway Park, here's Tommy Pham. That catches the zone for a strike. Strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. One and one. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. The pitch. There's the swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Two-two down. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Batting second, the right fielder. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and stepping in for Boston, Tommy Fan. Slice down the right side. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Come on, big guy. And the 0 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Here's Alex Verdugo. Gets under and pops it up. Henderson racing over to make the catch. Three innings complete. It's the Orioles two and the Red Sox nothing. One down. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. He's already homered in this game. The first base hit, number six. Ryan. In the air, left side. Fan settles under this one. Pulls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Here's the left fielder, Tommy Pham. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Mullins makes the grab. One pitch and one out. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity? So two down. Next is the designated hitter, Kyle Stowers. And that one is lifted in the air. Coming on is Pham to make the play. And that's the inning. Orioles held in check there. They lead 4-0. So the batting order turns over. Tommy Pham. Getting ready to hit. The left fielder, number 22. Line to Tommy. left. And there's a hit. And that extends the inning. 
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice line drive to the pull no side, met no it out front, Maggie but God. just stayed through it nice Good. enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now the number two hitter, Alex Verdugo. Fam on the move. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Ready to begin the eighth. And into the box for Baltimore, Ryan McKenna. Number 65. Now the 0 1. Ryan McKenna. Line drive. And there's one down. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. He's two outs away. Next to hit, Ryan McKenna. Up next to the and the right-hander deals. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Coming on his fan to make the play. Runner tags from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. It's 5-5. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. So next to hit for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. And that's a base hit. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Base is now loaded with two away. It's been a rough one for him so far at the plate, but that'll help. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. And here is Gunnar Henderson. He's already homered here in this one. Two outs. In the air, left field. That one back. And it's off the wall. Run comes in from second, and it's 6-5. And in its second with an RBI double. Well done. Drives in the run. Showed off some really nice oppo pop with that swing and just couldn't get it over the fence. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. We're at extras here. Now the left fielder, Tommy Pham. Leading off for the Red Sox. The left fielder. Here comes the pitch. Swings and misses. Going one. Oh, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats, quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it one man to the next. Showing a lot of fight right now. And they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. You'll want. Swing and a miss. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Got him! And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. 6-5 the final here today. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Our final line.